So how did it go? Uh, TNT Rescue Guard was pretty good, you know. Uh, I think we know where we need to find that first spot, but definitely we're going the right direction. You know, we've been very consistent this year. Uh, you know, I think consistency is going to pay off at the end of the season. So, you know, we just keep doing what we're doing, dig hard, dig hard, make small adjustments, and I think we'll be there. Look through all your race that uh, uh, people are kind of all over the track, inside, outside, things are working well, guys got a little bumping point there. Uh, once Church got out the lead, he was able to kind of pull away a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, our car, it's hard to speak for everyone else, but our car was really good on the outside tonight. Um, it's been like that pretty much the whole season, and really tonight it was very smooth. It might not have been super fast everywhere, but very consistent on the outside, and I knew we could just keep clicking them off. And once it got single file, you know, it felt like we were starting to catch church just ever so slightly, and then the gap opened up, you know, and then 10 to go, I just, you know, being consistent, holding my lane, and see what we could do, you know. Maybe a caution come out, maybe something, but I know I definitely could hold that second, you know. And we want it first. We tried so hard, but we'll get them. Were you surprised that Brazen damn near got you at the line? He seemed to come out of nowhere to... Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. It's it's tough to tell, you know. Again, like I said, it's so the inconsistency is there at these tires, and I don't know if, if they're rotating the tires different, but one week one guy's fast, the next guy the other seems, another guy seems fast. And it just seems like it's the consistency is just not there, and we, either whether it's a tire deal or whatnot, but, you know, and that's where I'm happy. At least our car is very consistent week in and week out, you know. Whether uh, what's going on, I mean, we're still putting it in the top five pretty much every week. I have heard other guys good. talk about it. It's been harder to get used to these tires compared to what you ran last year. Yeah, I don't know about that, you know. I honestly don't think it's that. I think it's just there's other factors that are put into it, you know. But uh, it's definitely not making it any easier, let's just say that. But it's good, you know. If once you get the hang of it with these tires, I think you are you can rock it pretty good. To me, it seems like it's a, it was a good decision to kind of, they're trying to unify the tire rule across the area. Yeah, so. they needed to do something. Right. This is step one. Maybe step two would be bringing like F75, and I'm not saying that's going to work. But maybe like a full, full old slick instead of the treaded grooved slicks that we run now. So you know maybe just a better slick would be the answer. Um, I'm always for a 10 inch slick. Give us a super late tire, but then they're saying that it's going to be too close to racing and not, not an. I don't know. You know they said it's going to turn into a different series that that didn't work. So who knows? You always there's always ups and downs, pros and cons. But if we could be on a little more, a little more rubber, I think it's going to be a little bit better racing because right now I think it's. People are trying to adjust for that tire, and it's just not working some nights, you know. But then the next night, they can get it. So it's, like I said, as long as the TNT car is consistent, and that's what we are, have been, we're all right, you know. From my observation, it seems that the late models have a more more of a problem with grip than, than the super late. You know, but you got a lot of horsepower on that little tire. I mean, that 8 inches groove tire, and you putting all that horsepower down, it's going to spin. There's just right. no answer to it and it's how much bite and how much can you get it hooked up and I just you watch a lot of these guys come off the turn and they are just you know kicking their tail out so you try to put that throttle on as soft and easy as you can but at the end of the day it's still tricky you know so we're definitely happy the TNT rescue car was you know pretty good tonight and uh, we'll take second cool.